Okay. My name is Mohammad Shehbaz. Uh, today we'll talk about Smart Auth, uh, multi-factor authentication using Smart Card and Android on web. First, we'll discuss authentication and then we'll present our proposed solution. This talk was a part of my master's research in National University of Sciences and Technology. Authentication is an important security control to protect the system regarding CIA properties. To protect a system from an unauthorized entity, the authentication process is basic and first line of defense. Millions of users have been affected on web from all over the world because of unauthorized access. Unfortunately, this was all. As we saw, user authentication is important and required to achieve our security goals. NFC mobile transactions are expected to exceed $100 billion by 2020. We can use NFC for authentication purpose with smart card. As smart cards can provide strong security to authenticate an entity to achieve our security goals. Objective of this research is an alternative approach of our secure user authentication which provides mutual entity verification using smartphone and smart card for web. <coughs> More than 15% of internet users have reported experiencing the takeover of an email or social networking account. We are making progress to make a password free world. We will review the shortcomings and strengths of popular authentication factors and select the best approach for smart auth. Knowledge based, based authentication has some problems like remembering. According to a psychology review, an average person tends to remember only seven <coughs> random characters of data approximately. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 was still the top password in 2018. According to a Google research, in the case of third party data breaches, 12% of the exposed records included, included a Gmail address serving as a username and password. Of those passwords, 7% were valid due to reuse. Microsoft sees 250% increase in phishing in year 2018. Other known issues with passwords including but not limited to social engineering, malwares, keyloggers, shoulder surfing. If your password is no longer safe due to a data breach, password checkup gives recommendation that you should change your password immediately. It's a Chrome extension by Google. I would recommend to check this tool. In cybersecurity, system is only as secure as a weakest link. It has been established that humans are still the weakest cybersecurity link. We can add we can add multi-factor we can add uh, multi layers of security to authenticate an authorized user. If one factor fails, the second factor can still protect the system from an authorized entity. Because of limited time, I would like to refer something you are authentication factor to a talk, social engineering and emerging multimedia technologies conducted last year here in besides Munich. The speaker analyzed this authentication factor in details. This is evolving technology. In the talk, the speaker discussed tools which are available to generate real-time fake targets, even some are using AI. And in future, it could be possible to impersonate anyone. Two-factor authentication is recommended. One of the influence behind this research was an alternative approach from SMS authentication as telecom shutdowns were occasional in my region on the time of my studies. SMS two-factor authentication won't work in low coverage areas until you can receive SMS, for example, in high tower buildings or basements. 
tracking subscriber location, obtaining call details, tapping, intercepting text messages that contain security codes are the harsh reality we live in. SSS 7 Vulnerability weakens SMS two-factor authentication. NIST has restricted the usage of SMS one-time password. And organizations are taking risk while using SMS OTP. Signaling System 7 is a 30 years old out-of-band signaling protocol originally designed for wired networks in closed environments. Later, SSS 7 integrated for wireless networks without encryption. In GSM, International Mobile Subscriber Identity is stored in SIM cards and is authenticated from home location register. After authentication of IMSI, uh, a specific mobile switching control provides cellular service to the subscriber. To send commands on SSS 7, the attacker can obtain access with only several thousand dollars with uh, can access from uh, with only several thousand dollars from black market ss7 attacks may be performed from anywhere additionally the hacker does not need to be a highly skilled professional either attacker sends update location ss7 command to hlr in such a way that SMS are redirected to a fake MSC of the target subscriber. The attacker now intercepts SMS of the target subscriber which may include OTP or other crucial information. Google Authenticator works with shared secret key to generate time-based one-time password with server and user. User has to enter the OTP within 30 seconds. If there is a data breach and the attacker gains access to the passwords and secrets, then he or she will be have access to user, user accounts unnoticed. Security tokens are portable devices to authenticate users, adds an extra step of for typing lots of numbers and an extra device to carry with you. Requires battery to operate. They tend to work poorly with mobile phones. People don't want to use authentication that is not seamless when i was uh, looking for my master uh, master's thesis topic uh, my supervisor dr abdul gafur abbasi he showed me smart card and paypal mobile card reader uh, that plugs with smartphone uh, audio jack he guided me to work on uh, smart cards with smartphones as smart cards are becoming new norm of identity Smart cards does not require batteries to operate and are protected from malware. This is the basic architecture of smart card open platform. The card manager is the core component of open platform. It provides interfaces for onboard services and interfaces to the outside world. A Java card Jacob has a Java card virtual machine to run smart card application written in Java. The function of security domains is to provide keys and cryptographic services for applications, for example, symmetric or asymmetric cryptography. Smart card microcontroller physically is protected by different layers of passive and active security measures, which includes sensors embedded in the chip, and an attacker has to work through many fold of security measures before he can gain access to the secrets. On the right, we have a photo of a human here in comparison with semiconductor structure of smart card microcontroller. On the other side, with the chip is chip in operation, the lower picture, the lower picture shows the electrical potentials of RAM cells are measured using an electron uh, beam tester. Scrambling, scrambling of uh, memory cells is the protection from this attack. Smart card can be used with both contact and contactless readers having dual interface. Hybrid smart cards can have both smart card chip and RFID 
This is common for employees, employee ID cards for physical access control systems. For two-factor authentication, most solutions are required to trust third party. We discuss SMS OTP and observe the vulnerability. Google Authenticator does not provide mutual entity authentication. For example, attacker may gain access to shared Kirforma data breach. Even, even if we implement two-factor authentication, it does not mean that we have secure authentication. We'll have secure authentication if we design it securely. In this video, two-factor authentication implementation had a design flaw where the client can send a random phone number during the second factor flow and the server send the attacker the SMS one-time password for the account. So this is OTP, just send this. This is a vulnerability, just a design flaw actually. We propose smart auth multi-factor authentication using smart card and Android on web with public key cryptography. The architecture of smart auth is designed to achieve security through op security with PKI. It is divided into two parts. Server side, user side includes Android smartphone and smart card. Based on public key infrastructure, certificate authority to verify entities, we use OpenSSL to, to generate self-signed certificate for proof of concept. Authentication server to authenticate authorized entities, database of authorized users. In center, we have smartphone running an Android application, acting as a medium to communicate between web, and smart card for mutual authentication purpose. Smart card module is responsible to communicate between smart card Android and Android over NFC. For a successful authentication of a user, the user is required to authenticate first with password on web. Secondly, we then authorize smart cards on uh, smart card on smart. Uh, Secondly, we then authorized smart card on web with smartphone. Communication with smart card is done by APDU commands. ISO DEP is required uh, as Android supports different NFC technologies. Actually, uh, we I had a one problem uh, while using smart card. I had a hybrid smart card, which was also uh, an RFID and smart cards. So as per Android dispatch of NFC technology, it was NFC def. It was going through NFC def and was not selecting as a smart card. So it was take a lot of time to figure it out that uh, actually we need to select IS def for communicating with uh, NFC. And also the smart card, the smart card has uh, Java card PKI. Uh, it's an open source project for to support uh, with Java, and we uh, integrated smart card with Java card PKI project. We follow FIPS one nine six protocol entity authentication using public key cryptography. FIPS one nine six protocol was introduced and published by NIST. We have two entities that we want to authenticate mutually on web. One entity initiator A is server side and the second entity is user side responder B which includes Android and smartphone. For second factor authentication with smart card, server sends authentication request to smartphone via push notification uh, with a token ID. Android response with token BA1 and a random number RB, which is actually a random number generated from smart card. Next server uh, generates uh, generates RA pseudo random number and digitally signs RA concatenated with RB, the random number sent from smart card and sends back to the smartphone. 
okay uh, at this step sure. at this step uh, when it receives the smart uh, the smartphone receives that uh, digital signature token ab it verifies that uh, it is validated and after successful val validation uh, the server entity is verified then smart card digitally signs the random number rb concatenated with ra assigns back to the server after a successful validation of token ba2 uh, both entities are now mutually authenticated uh, let's see smart talk in action after username password user selects uh, device they receive a push notification on smartphone and uh, using smart card after ver pin verification uh, digital signature is sent back to the server from smart card signed by smart card and on web it is authenticated successfully The summary of a VISPA analysis of smart auth is safe as we are using public key cryptography and follow FIPS 196. A VISPA stands for Automated Validation of Internet Security Protocols and Applications. The VISPA is a tool for analysis of Internet Security Protocols and Applications. The protocol problems are written in the high level protocol specific language and automatically automatically analyzed with a VISPA tool according to the specification of security protocols. SmartArt provides mutual entity authentication protection against replay attack as validity of authentication request is only 120 seconds. Prevents phishing and man in the metal attack. Uh, during my research, FIPS 196 protocol was announced obsolete and also being withdrawn because it has not been updated since uh, February 18, 1997. We continued with FIPS 196 as it still provides the required security for uh, smart auth. As of now, alternative of FIPS 196 is not announced yet. Elliptical cryptography is a next generation approach to cryptography that uses mathematical formula. It provides better performance and greater security with small key size as compared to RSA keys. We are specifically interested in SCCP 256K1, the Bitcoin elliptical curve to implement with smart card. With that, we'll have more security with smart auth and a simple yet secure wallet a cross platform smart card wallet with two factor authentication awareness about threats and protection is the best defense this is an email from my bank educating users about cyber threats and how they can protect themselves from different threats <clears throat> there are some references and thank you very much uh, today. Thank you. Do we have any questions at the moment? Okay. Uh, yes, yeah. sir. How does it uh, protect against men in the middle attacks? Uh, actually, yes, uh, it's a very good question. How? This smart art can protect man in the middle attack. So you see, we have our random number two. If I can go back to the uh, this one, for example, this is mutual entity authentication. So we have R A and R B. Then uh, it signs R A and it also sends the R A within. So there is no like this is a rudo cryptographic uh, secure random number. So it sends uh, from server to the client and it has its own RB which was sent in previous step, in previous trend. Now from server and from uh, its own, both random numbers, uh, they validate that these are original and the certificates are validated by CA uh, in architecture that we presented. This one. So the certificates are validated from this one 
and uh, the, the signature is validated with I and R V. So it provides actually the man in the middle in this one. So similarly, the next step, next step is to reverse the random numbers. Like first, it was R A because it was sent from server. Next step is R B. It is sent from sign from uh, responder B. So both entities can verify each other. Okay. 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 How do you think that the long term with uh, certificate authorities there is always the problem of an authority that uh, actually in the past just had some issues with architecture? Uh, actually, uh, this is also a very good question because uh, the approach we want to like uh, provide a solution for organizations where certificate or authority they will control. Like in this art architecture, we are not dependent on any third party. Also, certificate authority organization <coughs> can have their own. Like, uh, and it provides a unified authentication for organization. For example, we have key, key cards. So in key cards, employees always use, but there's uh, like uh, opportunity to use smart cards on web we can use uh, readers on uh, physical access control systems but with web there's a gap so this solution actually is targeted for organizations that they can use employee id cards within organization and this architecture is totally dependent uh, it is independent of third party so they don't want to like uh, like if they want to have a physical access they can use key card as a key card and if they want to authenticate on uh, organization's website they can use with like this solution on that and after after uh, if their access is revoked only one click they all get access from buildings physical access as well as on uh, web uh, all uh, like uh, a uniform unified actually authentication for organization so uh, this is certificate authority organization can have their own actually just to verify the validity of entity uh, on the smart card. Yes. Having your own PKI is also not very simple. I mean, to run your own PKI and to protect us, so it's rather simple for bigger companies because smaller medium companies probably also not able to have a more or less secure PKI infrastructure. Yeah, we can, I, I agree with you actually. <laughs> <laughs> but still, uh, uh, it's a one-time solution. Uh, like for example, OpenSSL we can use for uh, again. Uh, we can have a central database that where we can manage easily. So, like central database for all employees. So maybe or maybe less uh, shortage validity of uh, uh, certificates, so that they can be like uh, managed easily. Uh, I think the problem with PKIs is. Not so much on technical, also, but most of the time organization. Yeah, yeah. Technically, the solutions are always nice, but like the organization, yeah. I want to implement it. So. I agree. Have you, have you, have you running, uh, have you had running implementation of this? System? Actually, actually, I do have. I do have with me, if anyone interested to. Uh, no, actually, I did not implement. Uh, like, I, got, I got your question. Uh, we haven't implemented it anywhere, but we are looking, we are uh, trying to do this one. Uh, I've already started, like I have a, uh, this one. I already have a white paper website and uh, interestingly, uh, coin, smart card coin, uh, for from Litecoin. So I want to, like based on this uh, research, I want to implement smart card wallet, putting Bitcoin cow in smart card. So this would be like a product, yeah. Um, looking into <laughs> working on it actually. So, like, this is simple. Like, uh, as, uh, the approach would be simple. Uh, with smart card wallet, we can sign transactions, Bitcoin transaction, or any cryptocurrency. And uh, uh, with cross platform, uh, with cross platform uh, support, uh, if we have mobile phone, we can sign it, like putting your wallet in your wallet, literally. So, with mobile phone, you, with NFC, you can sign your transaction. Uh, with, uh, for example, POS, uh, we can buy products on uh, smart card wallet. And uh, similarly, ATM, we can use, like, like uh, people are already familiar with credit cards and ATM uh, technology. So it would be a uh, key to mass per, mass adoption of uh, cryptocurrency. Maybe. And uh, the 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right now, right now, we'll be working on uh, just to like Java card. Uh, maybe later we might have a specific, but I, right now we'll be working on Java card. Yes. Do you have the source code? Uh, there's a one project, one project, uh, <coughs> uh, I think open uh, HSM, I think, uh, they have, they have an open source pro project. We'll be actually, uh, integrating different technologies to make it more, uh, seamless. Continue the discussion in another room, maybe, to try out the system. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.